So perfect. Uh, me this week uh, I work it on uh, the plugin for Neo4j. I we develop uh, one plugin uh, for Giphy to import uh, data directly from Neo4j, and uh, I will do a demo of uh, this plugin uh, nice. uh, in front of you. So I hope I will not have the, the demo effect. So uh, firstly, I created a Neo4j database directly on the uh, Neo4j uh, cloud, as you can see on my screen. And uh, if you want to take a look at what we've got inside, we have some actor, movies, person, etc. So we have a lot of nodes, in fact, more than uh, 30,000 and much more relationship. So this is from the Neo4j part, and now we will go on Giphy. So this Giphy has my plugin already installed, and I will show you how to import some data. So you have to make file, import, and you see here the new connector that is called Neo4j, I would say. And uh, you can go on the next panel. And uh, on this panel, you have to, uh, uh, to fill the URL of the database. Optionally, the name of the database, because on Neo4j, you can have multiple database. But if you leave it empty, uh, we will take the default one. And then you have to choose the uh, authentication mechanism by a user password or no authentication. Uh, yeah. And so if you go on the next page, I will verify the connection. So if uh, the database is available, and then I ask to the database all the type of node and type of relationship. It's what we see here. And uh, if I want to import everything, I just have to click on Finish. And uh, we will see here the, uh, the progress of the import. Hop. The report, there is no error. So that, that's a good news. And here you have the summary of the number of nodes and edges uh, that have been imported. And if I click on OK, I should see the table with everything. But uh, OK, this is a demo effect, normal. <laughs> Another way to, to, to import a data, uh, I will continue. It's uh, the same connection. Because sometimes you don't want to import nodes and relationships that are really stored uh, inside Neo4j, but uh, you want to make some aggregation or to project your graph. And so there is another mode where you can define a, a query, a cipher query for nodes and a cipher query for edges. So a cipher query for nodes must return ID. And uh, for, uh, for a relationship, you must, re must return an ID, but also a source ID and a target ID. I would say it's pretty much the same thing as we've got in Giphy for importing data from a, a, a SQL database, but here it's for it's for Cypher, and uh, it do exactly the same thing. It imports uh, all the data. I see a graph. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, you see here uh, we've got the data, but uh, yeah, uh, we need to wait. I think I haven't configured Giphy enough in terms of memory, mm -hmm. uh, but yeah. Uh, this is not <laughs> an issue with Giphy in the plugin. It's a really small configuration and with my laptop and the setup for the yeah. streaming. Yeah, of course. And uh, that's all. <laughs> <laughs>